Hello circuit trainers, uh, Monday. I hope you uh, you did something with your week off from circuits. I know some of you did circuits. There you go. I, I, I just had a week off. Um, right. Uh, I think uh, we'll just if if you've got your mat, you've got your towel, got your water, got your room set up, everything's safe, ready to go. Then uh, we'll just get into the warm up. So if you just start rolling the shoulders, rolling round backwards to begin with. <coughs> We've got three circuits tonight and nine minutes each, so it's 27 minutes of work. Roll the shoulders forwards. And take the whole of the arm round, reach right up overhead, rotate the shoulders, extend the arm all the way, take it round forwards. Bring the arms down, lift the knees now, two ways tight. Knees down, heels up, lifting the heels up towards your backside, warming up the hamstrings and the quads, mobilising the knees a little. I was trying to think what the weather was like this time last year. Feet down, knee up, opposite knee to over, just rotating at the waist. Seem to remember April was rather warm. Surely it's warmer than it has been the last couple of days. It certainly didn't snow, I'm sure about that. Ridiculous. Feet down, take it into a squat, not too low. Working up and down in the squat, warming up the knees, warming up the legs, keeping the knees behind the toes. Take that into a forward lunge, just stepping forward, taking the knee towards the mat. Now take it backwards, a rear lunge, just stepping out backwards, take the knee towards the mat, come back to standing. Okay, feet wide, lunging left and right. Just lunging from one side to the other. Warming up the inner and outer thighs. Reaching down now towards the opposite toe. Little bit of rotation at the waist. Now come up to the middle, just reaching left and right, turning the foot onto the toe before you reach overhead, reaching all the way overhead. Okay, just jogging on the spot. Probably hear me now. I know that disgusting noise the dog was making. Lift the heels.
lift the knees. Keep it going. Raise the heart rate. Bring it down there. Just bring it down. Hold it there. Grab a drink. Have a little break. Right, as I said, we have got uh, three circuits. We're going to start off with exercises for 30 seconds. Um, and we use uh, nine minutes of work altogether. So, uh, 18 exercises, six exercises three times through. All a little bit of CV work just to raise the heart rate, get us ready for doing the rest. We're going to do, be doing a bit of jogging, uh, some jacks, wood chop, split thrust, a bit more jogging, wood chop on the right. Three times through. Only 30 seconds each though. Are you ready? Let's go. Just jogging on the spot. Move the elbows. Move the hands and lift the feet. A couple of seconds we'll be going into jacks. Let's go into your jacks. Still warming up the first time through. Going into wood chop on the left, lifting the left leg in your wood chop. Moving the hands, moving the arms, lifting the knee at your own pace. Take it down to the mat, split thrust. Weight on your hands, hands under your shoulders, alternating the feet, bring the knee in to the chest, extend the leg, tap the toe, not too much bouncing around, keep your abs engaged, come back to your feet, and just jogging on the spot a little bit faster now two more seconds wood chop on the right lifting the right leg At your own pace. Jogging on the spot. A little bit quicker now. Bump the elbows, move the feet, keep breathing, a few more seconds and into jacks, let's go.
couple more seconds wood chop on the left lifting the left leg to the mat. Split thrust, weight on the hands. Let's go. A bit quicker this time. Pull the abs tight. jogging, just jogging. Pump the arms. Wood chop. Lift the right leg, come on. In your own time. Jogging again. Last time through. Come on. Move your hands. Into your jacks. Faster this time, get the heart rate up. Wood chop, lift the left leg. down to the mat. Split thrust. Jogging, we'll do it at the end, don't worry. Into your jogging, last bit. Come on, that's the
hold it there. Hold it there. Take a little break. Grab a drink. One circuit over. Uh, two to go. Uh, right, next circuit is all about strength exercises. So it's 45 seconds. Uh, 45 second exercises, 12 of them. So the nine minutes of work. All strength though, we're going to be doing press-ups, uh, squat type exercises, um, some uh, abs exercises and some lunge type exercises. Uh, three sets of four. Right. Oh, excuse me. Are you ready? Uh, close arm press-ups. 45 seconds. Down you go. Into your press-up position. From the knees, all the toes, hands under the shoulders, keep the elbows tight into the ribs and up and down you go in close arm press ups. Got 45 seconds, still got 15 to go. Keep the abs engaged so the torso is nice and tight, nice and rigid, and you can come up onto your feet and into your squats. Keep your knees behind your toes. Take your backside down low in your squat. Use your arms out in front to keep your balance. Once you're down, squeeze your glutes to come back up. We've got 10 seconds to go. You're going to go down to the mat, lying on your back for V sits. So down to your mat, on your back, extend the legs, extend the arms, engage the abs, lift the shoulders away, lift the heels away, bring them up, take the hands towards the toes, control back to the mat and repeat. Ooh, long. Had a week off, had to practice. If you want to take it down, bend your legs to lighten the load and keep your arms low. Up onto your feet, forward lunges. Stepping forward in your lunge, take the back knee towards the floor, push up off the front foot, back to standing, keep breathing. Ten seconds to go. After this, we're back to the mat. The wide arm press ups. Down you go. From the knees, all the toes, hands wide at the shoulders. Elbows go out this time. Chest goes towards the floor. Abs are engaged. Torso is tight. Keep breathing. A little while to go with these, but then we're back to our feet. We're going to go into a squat pulse. Come onto your feet. Take it down to your squat position. Hold it there. 
and just pulse. Little pulses. Fairly slow, just up and down there. As low as you can stand it. Got 15 seconds to go. We'll be going down to the mat for alternate knees to elbows. You'll be sitting on your backside feet flat, knees up. Down we go. Alternate knees to elbows, sitting down, feet flat. Knees up, shoulders down to the mat. Engage the abs, lift the shoulders away, bring the knee in to the opposite elbow. As you do just a little twist there through the obliques. Take it down if you wish to an oblique crunch. Just reaching over, still lifting the knee. Onto your feet, squat jumps. Feet go out, backside goes down, feet come in, backside goes up, squat jump. Go at your own pace. Okay, down to your mat. Press up position for a T press up. Hands wide at the shoulders, knees or toes, low in the chest to the mat, push up, roll over into side plank, hold it for a moment, control back to plank position, into a press up, roll over, side plank. Keep it all under control, keep the abs fully engaged. Onto your feet, we're going to do a squat lunge from the back of your mat. Nice deep squat, squeeze the glutes to come back up, stepping forward into a lunge, take the back knee to the floor, push up off the front foot, back into your squat and repeat on the other side. Um, crikey, I forgot what we're doing. Sit up and twist. Miles away there. Down to your mat on your backside. Feet flat, knees up. Lift the shoulders away. Twist either side. Through the obliques, come back up. Keep it under control. Keep the abs engaged. Don't let them go. Don't come up too far, keep your front abs will disengage if you come up too far. Onto your feet, rear lunge, stepping backwards, knee to the floor, push up off the front foot. Few more seconds. Then 
be there. Okay, take a break. Mop your brow, grab a quick drink, have a little break. That's 18 minutes of work. We've got one more circuit to do. There's a mixture in this circuit. There's some plyometric work, some jumping around. But we'll finish off with some abs work just to uh, take us into the cool down. We're going to do uh, exercises for 40 seconds. And we'll be doing 14 of them. They're all different exercises, so I'll call them as we go. But the first lot. Um, a bit of a combination, some strength work, some jumping about, second set of seven, abs work as we cool down. Right, so uh, we're going to start on the mat with an abs crunch. Okay, you ready? 40 seconds down to the mat, feet flat, knees up, and just engaging the abs, lifting the shoulders away from the floor. Control back to the mat. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. You'll be coming onto your feet for vertical jumps. On your feet, let's go. Vertical jumps. Squat down. Power up to the ceiling, nod your hands on the ceiling, keep working. Ten seconds, ten seconds, we're going down. A wide press up. Down you go. Knees or toes. Hands wide at the shoulders. Wide press ups. How long have we got? 15 seconds. We're straight out of these into burpees. Mind your lampshades and the furniture. Burpees. Seven seconds. Okay, squat jumps. Out and down. In and up. Ten seconds. We're going down to squat thrust. Come on, down we go. Squat thrust. Those feet out into plank. Bring the knees in to the elbows. Keep breathing.
on your feet. Are you ready? Star jumps. Squat down. Power up. Into your star. Keep going. Take it down into plank and hold it there. Whew. Oh boy. Hold it tight. Knees, hips, shoulders. Nice straight line. Abs engaged. Pull tight. Just catch your breath. Okay, over you go. Onto your backside for alternate knees. Two elbows sitting down, feet flat, knees up. Engage the abs, lift the shoulders away, opposite knee, to elbow, take it down to oblique crunches if you wish, keep the knee lifting if you can, a few more seconds, over we go. Into plank. From your plank position, take a breath in as you breathe out. Carefully push up into pike. Hold it for a moment. Come back to your plank. Okay, over onto your backside again. Bleak crunch this time. Feet flat, knees up, lower abs engaged. We're reaching over, trying to keep your knees still. Your knees are staying still because your pelvis is staying flat because the twisting action is in your waist and through your obliques. You're not using your hips and your pelvis to do it and so your knees stay still more or less okay back into plank position plank and tap in your plank position just tapping the shoulders alternately Tap your opposite shoulder, take your time, keep the abs engaged, keep the shoulders, hips and knees in a nice straight line. Lower yourself to the mat, stretch the feet out arms into, into uh, cactus position. Breathe in as you breathe out. Lift the shoulders away. Hold it there for a moment. Breathe in. Exhale. Control. Back to the mat and repeat. Keep going.
Okay, hold it there. Take your time, come to your feet. That's it, you're cooked. Come to your feet, we'll have a bit of a cool down. Wow. Well, I hope that got your heart going. Got the blood pumping a bit, gave you a workout. Oh. Okay, soften the knees, feet under the shoulders, standing up straight. Take the left arm overhead, hand on top of the spine, ease the elbow back, stretching the tricep, use the opposite hand if you want to, just to ease it back and help stretch that tricep. Keep breathing. Take your time, get control of your respiration. And just relax out of that one. Swap sides to the other side. Ease the elbow back. Okay, relax out of that one. Let's take the left arm across the chest. And again, ease the elbow into the chest. Building a stretch in the left shoulder. Once you've got that stretch, just hold it there. If it starts to ease off, maybe just pull the elbow in a little bit tighter. And relax out of that one. Swap sides. And just relax. Now that one, let's do a bit of work on the legs. One foot in front, one behind. Press the back heel into the floor, bend the front knee. Just leaning forward slightly. Feel the stretch in the calf. And when you're ready, Swap sides. Okay, standing up. Put your weight on your right foot. Just soften the right knee. Lift the left into your hand. Press the left hip forward, press the left foot into your hand and just build a stretch in the front of your thigh. And just relax out of that one, let's swap sides. Soften the knee that's supporting you. It'll help with your balance. Push your right hip forward now. Put your right foot into your hand. Feel the stretch all the way from the top of the pelvis down to your knee. And when you're ready, just relax out of that one. Whew, okay, uh, where were we? So, one foot in front, the other one just behind, straight in the front leg, bend the back knee, leaning over at the waist, you'll feel a hamstring stretch start in that straight leg. Take the shoulders a little bit lower, push the pelvis up towards the ceiling, you'll feel that stretch intensifying the hamstring, maybe even make it down into the top of the calf. Lower the shoulders if you can. Keep the hips up 
And when you're ready, just relax out of that one, swap sides, do the other side. When you're ready, relax out of that one, down into lunge position, get a bit of distance between your feet, find your balance, let the weight of your torso press the pelvis down towards the mat. And when you're ready, swap sides. Okay. Come up out of that one, come to your feet, feet wide, breathe in, bend at the waist, lowering the shoulders and the hands towards the floor, just let the head hang loose, nice and relaxed in the neck, breathe in, as you breathe out, take the hands to the right, just hold it there. Walk them round to the left and hold it there. Walk them to the middle. Walk your feet in. Standing up, straighten the back, one bone at a time. Go up straight, lift the chin up last. Take the arms overhead, have a little stretch out. We'll have three monkey swings before we go. So when you're ready, breathing in, bend the knees. That's two. Last one. Up you come on your toes, reach for the sky. Hold it there. Hold it there. Breathing in. Exhale. Take the heels. Towards the floor, elbows in, hands together. Well done, good stuff. Finish the circuit on a Monday. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tomorrow's a particularly momentous day, incidentally. Uh, is it because it's the second day that the gyms are open? No. Is it because you can go and sit outside a pub in the cold? Mm. No, it's not that. It's not Christmas, no birthdays. What it is, is the barbers is open and I've got an appointment at half past 11. Fantastic. So on Thursday, I'll probably be about half a stone lighter when I've uh, had a good haircut. Anyway, rest of you, enjoy your week and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.